This is a simple demo of the MVIP, the Mini Video Image Processor. This just shows the manual controls. No control voltages are used. The first control is a brightness control, which controls obviously the brightness of the overall image. It's active in all modes. The next two controls are hue controls. They are tint controls for the color. If you're familiar with a video vector scope, they are like the horizontal and vertical axis of that. If not, then just think of them as two separate color controls that can change the tint. The fourth control is the bit swap control. The video going through the device is digitized and the bit swap control offers a number of different rearrangements of the bits. The bits can be swapped or inverted in 32 different combinations. This rearranges the shades of gray and colors of the image. Even with weak colors on the original image, the bit swap can make the colors look very strong. It also will end up accentuating any noise that is in the original image. So a noisy image will end up with some noisy edges caused by the, the bits going up and down. The brightness control still affects the image during bit swap. It will push the image across the thresholds of the various bits, changing the parts of the image that are brighter or darker. The hue controls also are still effective and will change the overall color of the image. The fifth control is the mode control. It's divided into four major groups of modes. The first group is positive video with full color, 16 color, 8 color, and 4 color images. The second group is negative video. It also has full color, 16 color, 8 color, and 4 color. The third group is pixelization. It has 16 different settings. Each one, the pixelization gets wider and wider. The fourth group is luminance colorization. The original color is removed and the black and white image is used to create artificial colors. There are 32 variations in this mode half of them positive, half of them negative, all with different hues. The brightness control still works in this mode and can create different combinations of the colors. Both of the hue controls also still work and will shift the overall colors that are created. The bit swap control also works in this mode. It will create stronger transitions between the colors. The luminance colorizing by itself creates fairly smooth transitions as you go across the shades of gray, whereas the bit swap by rearranging the bits can create strong transitions of those colors. So that's a basic overview of the various effects that the MVIP can create using manual control.